Good morning everybody and welcome to this new series of on the road videos where we are taking you with us to Florida and we're also taking you on our Caribbean cruise and then I'm going to share with you what it's like to live and work here for a couple of weeks after the cruise. So that's what we're going to be talking about. I hope you'll stick with us and you will enjoy these videos. So let's get going and head out on the road again. Hi, we're James and Rob, and this is our dog, Oscar. We love travel in all its forms, so join us on our next adventure as we head out on the road again. Good morning from Las Olas Boulevard and the River, the river Walk. We arrived in Fort Lauderdale yesterday. I'll tell you more about the flight uh, later on, but it's because we're jet lagged, we were up early, so it's about quarter to eight at the moment, so there aren't a lot of people around, which means we get to experience this in the night, uh, early morning without too many people. So we're in hunt of a coffee shop and we will take you along with us. This is the hotel that we are staying at, so called the Riverside Hotel. I'll do a review of that later on, but it's a nice hotel and obviously it's a great location, as you can see right on the river, which is why it's called the Riverside Hotel. And we're going to wander along the river looking for a coffee shop. Lots of beautiful boats from the rich and famous. <clears throat> and you can imagine how much an apartment will cost you to live here. Say hello, James. We're, we're in hunt of coffee because it's early and we're still tired and we're still jet lagged. And there's lots of parrots in the trees making an awful lot of noise. Right now it's a lovely, beautiful, sunny morning and it's not too humid yet, it's pretty warm. But there is Hurricane Ian on the way, so we're gonna be interested to see how this might impact our itinerary of our cruise. Hopefully it won't because we're going south of it, but we will find out and of course we'll let you know. Good morning again. We have now found somewhere to have coffee and breakfast at Java and Jan. It's now about eight o'clock in the morning. This place is actually pretty busy and it's pretty noisy so I hope you can hear me but it looks like a good weekend brunch breakfast so James is having it on there and I'm having eggs benedict and I'll show you what the food looks like when it arrives. We're then on the hunt of a pharmacy because we want to get some seasick pills before we get on the boat and James is also looking for some Bose headphones and some Levi jeans since this is his only shopping day while he's here in Fort Lauderdale so Hopefully we can find them and then this afternoon we are planning on going on a riverboat cruise since we think that will keep us cool as it gets hotter and hotter. It's about 31 degrees today but the humidity makes it feel more like 36 and it is very, very humid. So uh, nice to be in sunny weather but it is difficult to do tons of walking when it's this humid. So it's nice to be out early. Anyway, we'll be back when the food arrives. James is eating an omelette. There's the remnants of it and a very strong coffee and I'm having Ex Benedict with hash browns and a cappuccino which is also quite strong. I think the food is okay, it's not definitely not the best Ex Benedict I've ever had but hey it fills a hole, wakes us up and gets our day going. So I thought I'd show you around the Riverside Hotel that we're staying in on Las Olas Boulevard. So we are on the executive floor which is the 10th floor we booked a king size room but apparently we got upgraded to an executive room which is bigger and has some nice views as you'll see so this is our room which is number 10 16 and kind of bathroom on the left right rather and a, a very big bed i think this is actually what we would call an emperor sized bed and as I said, nice rooms. The air conditioning is vital because you can't, can't tell you how hot it is. And then our view from the window overlooking the river or the canal with lots of different boat trips that you can take. We were thinking of taking a boat trip this afternoon. It's, it was for an hour and a half and it was, what was it? $39, $35 each quite a lot but then I think you'll find everything in this area is very expensive from a coffee through to a meal and then this is our bathroom standard fare really good shower and everything else you'd expect so that is our room in the Riverside Hotel 
The location is obviously fantastic right in the centre of Las Olas, Las Olas Boulevard and on the river, as you'd expect, and there's some nice walks that you can do from there and lots of shops. We're right in the sort of shopping restaurant district. And this evening we are eating at the uh, Boat House, which is one of the, rest, the hotel's restaurants. Um, and we'll be sitting outside. I can, can't begin to tell you how scorching hot it is today. And you can see what a beautiful day it is. Must be in the high 80s, but it is seriously humid, so it makes it feel even hotter. And you end up being very thankful for the air-conditioned shops that you keep darting in and out of. But anyway, this is a review of our room 1016, 10th floor of the Riverside Hotel. So we were we're going to head down to the hall, which is part of the what's included in the hotel. So I thought we'd show you. It is roasting hot, so it's going to be nice to lie by the pool and I'll also show you the boathouse restaurant where we're eating this evening so you need to go out of the back door of the hotel right and into blazing hot sun and heat make the most of it yeah I know it's a glorious day today but I think it's going to rain tomorrow and then across the road you can see here is the boathouse hotel sorry the boathouse restaurant with waterfront dining, so hopefully it'll be a little bit cooler this evening when we go and eat. Interestingly enough, it's a dog-friendly hotel, so you can bring your, your doggy with you. And then this is the, this is the boathouse restaurant. into the air conditioning for a minute so here's the boat house restaurant we're going to eat later and then this is the pool straight up ahead one important thing to remember which is do not feed the iguanas Right now the challenge is to see if we can find air uh, somewhere out of the sun, which we probably won't be able to. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is the swimming pool, which as you can imagine is going to be lovely and cooling, so we'll grab a seat. I guess one of the reasons why people like to eat here and this hotel this uh, restaurant is connected to the hotel it's one of the three restaurants that are in the hotel the menu looks quite nice it's quite limiting James is having pop salad and I'm having oh, yeah, some pasta. garlic shrimp pasta anyway we'll let you know what it's like so our food has arrived and James has got a cob salad and I've got a shrimp pasta, so it looks nice, doesn't it? Bon appetit! So I wanted to wrap up this week's video by telling you a little bit about our 
flight and also what's to come. So we flew from London Heathrow to New York on Virgin Airlines and then from New York to Fort Lauderdale on Virgin's partner airline, Delta Airlines. Now a few months ago you still needed to get a uh, COVID test that had to be a monitored test so we had bought some in the post where you jump on a video call and you have someone monitor you and check the results and then send you a confirmation that you are negative. Well, actually after that, the ship changed their rules to say that you did need a COVID test, but it didn't need to be monitored. So it could just be self-administered, which is slightly crazy because obviously it meant people could cheat and use someone else's test if they wanted. Anyway, so we went to London Heathrow on Friday night because our flight was early Saturday and actually it was cheaper to buy a hotel and get the parking included than it was to buy just the parking on its own, which is a bit crazy, isn't it? So we had booked our tests for nine o'clock on Friday night. So we arrived at our Renaissance hotel, parked the car, which is very straightforward, and went and had dinner at the hotel. And then we went to our room and we did our tests, which was all very straightforward again. And fortunately, both James and I were negative. So that meant we were good to fly and get on the cruise ship. So our flight on a Saturday morning was about nine o'clock, so we had to get to the airport pretty early, checked in, and all was very smooth. And I got to say Virgin Airlines were fantastic, and I will do a review of our flight in a separate video. But Virgin were fantastic, the quality was really good. We were flying in premium economy, and the service was excellent, the staff were really friendly, the flight was on time. We landed in New York, and we had about three hour layover which we thought should be plenty of time to um, get our bags go through immigration recheck our bags and get on the flight um, in, in case you're not sure when you whatever the first point of uh, whatever the first port of call is in America is the place where you have to clear immigration and customs and get your bags and then recheck them in so that was all pretty straightforward and immigration was pretty straightforward surprisingly as well we were through fairly quickly and then we had grabbed a coffee and then we went to go through uh, security and the lines were ridiculous it turns out there were only two gates open for the whole of the airport which is absolutely crazy so it took about 40 minutes to get through that and it was complete carnage but again fortunately we had plenty of time so we then got on our flight to from New York to Fort Lauderdale. And obviously this is an internal flight and it was crazy, so different to Virgin. First of all, no one wants to check their bags. They all want to push their luggage into the overhead lockers. Of course, we checked our bags and we had a lot of luggage, but people just didn't want to. And the flight attendant was saying, basically I need 16 people to check their bags. Otherwise the flight isn't gonna be able to leave and no one was volunteering. I guess in the end they did, but people were still ramming their cases in the overhead lockers which clearly weren't going to fit so that delayed our flight being uh, taking off on time but anyway eventually we took off it was a quick flight so we landed in Fort Lauderdale grabbed our bags and caught an uber to the Riverside Hotel which you will have seen a review on so that was our first day of travel pretty smooth considering um, you know it's COVID times and there's extra security and lack of staff at airports but as I say, Virgin were excellent, Delta not so much, and James and I vowed that we would never do an indirect flight like that again. The reason we did that was because it was cheaper and we had Virgin vouchers that we needed to use, so we didn't want to spend more money, so that was a cheaper way of doing it. Fortunately, when I fly home, I'm going to Miami and flying direct, although James did fly home f via New York again, and I'll tell you about that in another video. Anyway, so that led us to the end of our travel day. We got to the Riverside Hotel. We had something to eat and relaxed and we went to bed to try and sleep, which was a bit of a challenge. Now in the next week's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about boarding the ship. We're gonna show you about boarding the ship and we're gonna do a room tour and a ship tour. So if you've ever fancied cruising or if you are an avid cruiser, then make sure you join us next week where we will be telling you all about the Celebrity Equinox and doing a tour of the ship. So look forward to heading out on the road again with you next Sunday.